Welcome to Best Practices for Parents. I'm a teacher and single mom raising two little kids. Taking experience from both sides, I'm here to empower you, the parent, in creating a thriving environment at home for learning as schools shift to more at-home online classrooms. Moving school from a physical classroom to online presents a challenge in focusing. While it's easier for older students to listen and do their work, younger students struggle more. According to most studies, an average adult has a maximum attention span of about 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes. If an adult has such a short attention span, how can parents expect their children to stay focused? My attention span is limited as well when it comes to online instructing. I'd rather be doing, but let's talk about how I overcome those temptations. Another challenge is too much screen time. Kids are in classes, but they're staring at a screen. This continued focus on the screen can lead to different health issues such as eye strain and headaches. These health issues can lead to difficulty with focusing, resulting in reduced performance, which is then compounded by the stress that would evolve from it all. Worse, the student wouldn't just feel this anxiety, but their entire household. My first recommendation is to get a portable handheld device, such as a tablet or a phone. This way, the student can have the benefit of smoothly moving around as attention begins to wane, and they can still listen to their teacher. With the headset customarily associated with the device, it helps with focus, as it can help block out other noises. Otherwise, those outside noises can contribute to distracting the student. Discuss with the teachers what the students will be required to do during the class. As different devices have different capabilities, you'll want to know what your child needs to interact in class successfully. Supplying your child with the right equipment can help them meet the requirements of the class, give them the ability to stay focused, provide them with the option to stand or move around to stimulate blood flow. While your child is gaining these benefits, they can maintain attendance as well, eliminating the need for teachers to reach out to parents about them not being in class. For parents who are working from home, providing earphones for your child to video conference on mobile gives you more control where you don't have to keep telling your child to sit still or not. Your child can eat at the table and participate in a video conference too. Y'all's lunches smell so good, I can smell it through the computer. Meanwhile, you're able to focus on your work with little to no distractions. Time management. Parents with babies, you're familiar with driving around the neighborhood so the baby will sleep. What do you do if you have to do this and keep your older children focused on school? With the right equipment, you'll have the flexibility to accomplish both. You can pack the kids and the baby up in the car and go for a drive. The older kids can be on their portable devices listening with a headset. Meanwhile, the baby is falling asleep to the movement of the car. The other parent can be at home, focused on the board meeting that is about to start. Creating trust and improving your relationship with your child. Instead of just asking, how was your day? Reframe your question to your child. I noticed how your teacher made you laugh today when you participated in a scavenger hunt game. What happened? Did you enjoy the scavenger hunt? What was your favorite part of the scavenger hunt? Open-ended questions create a dialogue between you and your child. Also, your child knows they're not alone. Indeed, there are some challenging times ahead. You will need tenacity to endure these obstacles. Develop these practices before the school year begins and focus with the end in mind. Learn to take the necessary steps for your family to thrive together. Recognize your inspiration to your child. Help them develop the courage to overcome fear in this current situation of online school. I can't promise that it's going to be easy, but with the end goal in mind, it will all be worth it. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and stay tuned.